Okay, so here we are at the Ultimaker and we're gonna go ahead and load our print job onto this specific machine. Now the Ultimaker is uh, our only printer right now that can't be sent directly a print job from the computer. So we have to use an SD card um, in order to actually transfer our file. So what we did on our computer, we set up our file in the Ultimaker Cura software and we saved it as a G code. We put our G code on our, or on our SD. So what we do now is we're gonna go ahead and insert our SD card to this SD slot in the front. Make sure it's pressed all the way in. You should hear that little click. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to select print. Now this screen is not a touch screen, so we're going to use this little scroll wheel and click on it to select print. And it's gonna read our card. Our new print job is probably going to be down at the bottom. So that one was Marshall Peg. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now once I select it, you can hear and see that everything starts to kind of wake up and move. It is preparing and heating up the print bed and also the nozzle. Now the Ultimaker uh, is our fanciest 3D printer and one of its fancy features is that this print bed is a piece of glass that will be heated. So it's really nice because it prevents errors happening in the print job so it's less likely to goof up but it does then have a lot more heat so you do have to be careful when working with this. It does also tend to take a little bit more time so if you did happen to watch the MakerBot that one estimated about 34 minutes this estimate was about 48 to 50 minutes. Sometimes on smaller print jobs the Ultimaker does work a little bit faster on larger print jobs especially whatever that estimate is add some time to it. So from here, we would just go ahead and let it load. We would watch it as it prints, and then there will be one final video to show us about grabbing our print job at the end.